Hi, if you want to get the most out of your solar panels and improve the output by at times more than 20%, then keep watching this video till the end and you will get your answer. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better, more sustainable world. Subscribe today to keep pace with the latest developments in the world of sustainable technology. Solar radiation being received by the panels is at best of times not uniform, meaning some panels can receive much more light energy than the others. And the reasons for this can be multiple. They include different orientation, different inclination, part shading of a panel to dust and even snow cover. In such cases, the overall capability of the whole string of panels is drastically reduced. Even though it might be that only part of one module might be shaded, but it still brings down the output of other panels in the same string that are receiving untrammeled light. In other words, the whole collection of panels will operate at the output of the worst performing solar panel if they are connected to a normal string inverter. Just to explain further, when solar panels are attached in series with each other, this arrangement is called a string and a collection of string is called an array. So the drop of the whole string performance is kind of like the fairy lights where the failure of one bulb does not allow the other bulbs to operate even though the filaments of the other bulbs are undamaged. Solar panels attached to one string in series behave like a single panel. When they are connected to a large central inverter, the output from the panels can be reduced. This is despite the fact that the central or the string inverter, as it is called, would have MPPT option built into it. For those who are unaware of the MPPT functionality, it is used for maximizing the output from the panels, particularly when they are partially shaded or there is a cloud cover. So a central inverter that may have dual MPPT option would be able to get more power if it is connected to, let's say, two different string of panels and each string is facing a different direction. In such situation, even if one string gets shaded, it doesn't affect the power of the second string. Now, what the microinverters do is that they take the MPPT functionality from the string level to the panel level. And in doing so, they make all the panels function independently. Shading on one panel has no bearing at all on all the other panels. And it is for this reason that it is estimated that microinverters can increase the output of solar systems by more than 20%. So the question is, why do we have more solar systems with central or string inverter when microinverters are so beneficial? Firstly, microinverters are a relatively recent development. Secondly, the cost of having microinverters on each panel is more than having one central inverter. But for a small system, it may cost less to have microinverters. Most microinverters in the market only connect to a single panel at a time. But there are certain microinverters that can be connected to up to two and even four panels. So let's say for a kilowatt system, two microinverters with dual port or a single four panel microinverter would suffice. Make sure though that the microinverter is compatible with the panel. The other thing to note is almost all microinverters sold in the market are grid tight. So they're most feasible to use for an on-grid system. They can be, however, used for an off-grid system that has a battery backup, but this requires a bit of hacking. A coupling of the microinverter with the inverter charger has to be made because there has to be a separate device that communicates and takes care of the battery charge. Note that there is also a device called the power optimizer that is attached individually to every panel and allows MPPT functionality at the panel level. It is however different to microinverter in that the output of the power optimizer is DC and furthermore power optimizers also require a central or a string inverter whereas microinverters don't. The biggest advantage of microinverters is that they allow you to increase the size of your solar system at a later time. This way the cost of your investment can be spread out. So I hope in this video you did learn how to make the most of your solar panels using microinverters. 
If you did like the video, please do hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your attention.